Hello, my name is Samantha, and this is a beginner grammar class. Hi, Fardeen. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So if you have a reservation, you can come on in right now. Um, if not, you can get reservations at verbling.com slash get reservations. You can get reservations by becoming a premium member or inviting your friends to Verbling to come hang out with you. So I see some of you are joining now and for everyone else you can join as soon as the button is green if you don't have a reservation. So, hi Maria, nice to see you. <laughs> Long time no see. About two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> hello to D Disnaka. Uh, hello, teacher. Hi. How do you say your name? Disnaka. Disnaka. No, is mute. No, okay. sound is mute. <laughs> so, to warm up, I'd like you guys to please tell me your name, where you're from, and what is your favorite movie. Just a question. So, um, my name is Samantha. I'm from Canada. And my favorite movie is Titanic. My favorite movie is Titanic. Okay. Disnaka, can you introduce yourself for us and tell us what is your favorite movie? Uh, may I introduce uh, myself now? Oh. Uh, excuse Sorry. me? Sure, Michael, you can go first. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, my favorite uh, movie is also a Titanic. Really? Yeah. So We're when you speak out. Have you yeah. heard that before? <laughs> yeah. When you speak out, I, I was shocked. <laughs> It's the best movie ever. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I oh, feel great. like that. Great. <laughs> okay. And um, Disnaka? <laughs> yes, Peter? Can you introduce yourself and tell us your favorite movie? Uh, uh, my name is Disnaka Nishant. Uh, I am from Sri Lanka. Uh, mm, my favorite movie is... Uh, Enter the Dragon by uh, <laughs> Bruce Lee. Awesome. Very cool. Um, Birkin, what's your question? I'm sorry, but I forgot it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you can ask if you remember. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Igor. Hi, Samantha. I'm Igor. I'm from Republic of Moldova, and my favorite movie is Titanic. <laughs> oh. Really? Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it must be the best movie. It's everybody's favorite. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hi, uh, Lasana. It's hard to hear you. Can can you turn your microphone down? I see it up there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How are you, Samantha? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. I'm uh, from uh, France. Uh, I live in uh, Strasbourg. Okay. okay. And, and my favorite uh, movies is uh, The Green Mile with uh, Tom Hanks. That's a really good movie. Yes. Very good. It's long. <laughs> <laughs> like three hours long, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good movie. So you live near me. I live in Paris. So we're. Uh, it's uh, northeast from uh, Paris. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, Strasbourg. Yes, I know where it is, but Strasbourg. I've never been there. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Have you been to Paris? Yes, yes. Um, uh, um, uh, maybe uh, f um, five, five um, trip. Uh, yeah, so you can uh, say uh, five times. Five times, yes. Five times, cool. Yes, nice thanks. Thank you. <laughs> and hello again, Maria. Hello again, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Maria, I'm from Spain, and uh, my favorite movie is The Good Father. Oh, great. The Godfather. The Godfather. Godfather. That's an awesome movie. <laughs> We've got some good ones. It's not Titanic, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Titanic, no. <laughs> um, and hello, Marwen? Hello, Smekta. Could you introduce yourself for us? What? Ah, my name is Marwan. I'm from Tunisia. My favorite uh, movie is uh, Tron. Tron? Tron. Yes. Tron. I haven't seen it. <laughs> yes, but I've Tron. heard it's really good. <laughs> yes, I like. All right, cool. And hello again, Fardin. Hi, Samantha. So, where are you My from? name is Fardin. Dean. I am from India. My favorite movie is Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, nice. <laughs> I remember it was really good. <laughs> and hello, Anat Anatol? Yes. Hello, Santa. Nice uh, to see you again. Thank you. Uh, I am Anjali and I am from Czech Republic and my favorite uh, film, I think uh, the best is for me the uh, Redemption Sh Shoshan. Oh, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome film. Great. Cool. And hello again, Anna. Hello. Uh, my name is Anna. Uh, I'm from Spain. My family is Troy. What is it? Troy. Well, I can't hear you. Can you type it? <laughs> Everyone has to say Titanic now, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Try, try. Yeah. Oops. I spelled it wrong. Try. Try. Yeah. Try. All right. So, if your favorite movie is not Titanic, you should leave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and present progressive or present continuous. It has two names, but it's the same tense. Okay? So we have two tenses the present simple and the present progressive or present continuous. So in English, we've given it two names just to confuse you. <laughs> um, Anatoly's favorite film is now Titanic. Okay, then you can stay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so here's the website I'm going to look at with you. I'll give you the link if you want to open it on your own screen. That's fine. Put it in both chats there. So we'll look at how to form the two tenses. And then we'll look at when to use them. How do you decide if you should use simple present or present progressive? And then we're going to get lots of practice. We'll play some games like this and this <laughs> and this Jeopardy. OK, so first we'll just kind of go over the rules. Um, and then we'll do some practice. And you can ask your questions. And hopefully, by the end of class, you will have mastered simple present and present progressive. OK? So simple present, I speak 
You speak. He speaks. She speaks. It speaks. We speak. They speak. So when you're using the simple present, all you do to form it is take the infinitive and that's it. But when you're in the third person singular, which means he, she, or it, you add an S to the end. And that's it. Okay? So that is for all regular verbs like speak, run, talk, walk, etc. These are regular verbs. The rules change for irregular verbs, um, but we'll look at the irregular verbs another day. So today we're just going to look at um, how the rules work for regular verbs, okay? And then that's the simple present. We also have the present progressive, or it's also called the present continuous. So you take the form oops, of be, and then the verb in the infinitive, and then you add ing. So first you need to know how to conjugate to be. No, it's it's regular in um, it's regular in the present tense though. Can <laughs> so we're just looking at present. Um, functions in the present. <laughs> okay, um, so to be the verb to be. I am. You are, he, she, it, is, we are, they are. That's how we conjugate to be. So I am Canadian. Um, Maria, you are Spanish, right? Um, so I'm sure you've heard this verb before. We use it all the time in everyday speech. So when you're conjugating the present progressive, you just take to be, I am, you are, etc. And then you take the verb in its infinitive form, speak, and then you add ing. I am speaking. You are speaking. He, she, it is speaking. We are speaking. They are speaking. Okay? So that's how you form the present progressive. Um, the hard part comes when you try to decide which one to use. So that's what we'll be talking about the most today. So we have some exceptions for adding S and some exceptions when you're adding ING. So for can, may, might, and must, you do not add S. He can, not he cans. She may, not she mays. It Only must, this. not it musts. So these are some exceptions, some irregular verbs in the simple present. Okay. Mm. Also, after O, C, H, S, H, or S, we add E, S. Not just an S, but E, S. So instead of he do, we say he does because it ends in an O. Instead of she wash, we say she washes because it ends in an S, H. He brushes his hair. She washes the dishes. He, not he go, but he goes to school. Okay? Mm. After a consonant, the final consonant Y becomes IE, but not after a vowel. So, for example, worry, you drop the Y, and add IES because the Y comes after an R, which is a consonant. So again, your vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and all of the other letters are consonants. So because the Y comes after this consonant R, we drop the Y and add IES. But in play, the Y comes after a vowel, A. So you you keep the Y there and just add an S, plays. He worries, he plays. Okay, so these are just some exceptions and some rules about what to do when you're adding the S in the simple present. For the other verbs, 
they just stay like this. I speak, you speak, it speaks, we speak, they speak. Okay? Hmm. There's also some exceptions when you're adding ing. So, oops, they're right here. Okay? So exceptions when adding ing. The silent e is dropped, but if you have double e's, two e's, it is not dropped. For example, come, you drop the E and add ING, coming. But agree has two E's, so you keep the two E's and add ING, agreeing. Okay? After a short, stressed vowel sound, the final consonant is doubled. Sit turns into sitting, but you add an extra T, sitting. A sh after a short stressed vowel, sit, sitting, knit, knitting, fit, fitting, etc. Okay? After a vowel, the final consonant is doubled in British English, but not American English. So, the good news is you can't really do this wrong because um, they're correct depending on if it's British or American English. Um, but after a vowel, the final consonant can be doubled or it can stay singular. So, for example, travel, you can double the L, traveling. But, or in American English, you can just keep it a single L, traveling, like this. Both of, the, both of these are correct, okay? Traveling. And the final IE becomes a Y. <laughs> so, lie instead of L-I-E-I-N-G, that's wrong. You change the IE to a Y and it looks like this, lying. Okay, does anyone have any questions about how to form the two tenses? Uh, so give us another example of, uh, like, travel verb where it uh, ends with a um, consonant. Okay, and I actually have a list. Let me find my list. So we can see where mm -hmm. we can um, British style to write or an American style. Yes. I just have to find... Pardon? I have a question, sir. I have a question, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, uh, what are the regular verbs uh, as we mentioned in the uh, chat box? Speak, run, talk, walk. Are they regular? I think. Are they regular or regular? Which verbs? Uh, that you uh, mentioned in the chat box. Uh, speak, talk? run, talk, walk. Uh, as regular verbs. Uh, I. I they work. They, they work as regular. as regular verbs in the simple present. So there's no exceptions going on with them. Like walk, walk, walks, walk, walk, talk, 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 talk. But once you get into the past tenses, they change. So, for example, in the past tense, run became becomes ran. So, uh, see, are they called uh, regular verbs? Um. Let me see which ones I listed. Are they regular uh, or in the irregular? Present, yes. Run, speak is turns into spoke in the past, so it's irregular. Irregular. Yeah, run turns into ran. Irregular. But yeah. they f they function as regular verbs in the simple present, like uh, okay. when you're yes, conjugating yes. them. Oops. Nice. When you're conjugating uh, okay. them here, they function like this: speak, speak. Speak, speak, yeah. speak, speak. I run, you run, he runs, we run, they run. I walk, you walk, he walks, she walks, we walk, they walk. Okay. Okay, did you, I got it. Okay. Yeah, good day, um, yeah. I found good a list day. here. Okay, so the final sound being doubled or not doubled, we've got cancel. I'll type them. Cancel. Cruel, dial, dual, dual. Oh, that's not a verb. Cancel. Um, label, marvel, travel. 
So it applies for verbs that end in L, E L. Some okay. static stative verbs don't accept ing forms. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay. Any other questions so far about how to form the two tenses? No? No. Okay, so let's look at when to actually use them. So how do you determine when to use simple present and when to use present progressive? So the simple present is used in general, regularly, often, or never. Things that generally happen or things that generally don't happen. Put the link here for the doubling. Okay, here's that. Okay, so for example, Colin plays football every Tuesday. Colin watches TV every Wednesday. Colin never walks to school. Colin always takes the bus. Okay, so it's an action that happens in general, generally, or we use it for present actions happening one, and, one after another in sequence. So first, Colin plays football. Then he watches TV. Then he eats dinner. Then he goes to bed. Okay, so either for habitual, habitual actions, so things that you do every day, every week, regularly, etc. Or for things in a list like this, present actions happening one after another. Versus the present progressive, which we use when we're explaining something that is happening right now. So look, Colin is playing football now. Colin is eating dinner right now. So you could say Colin eats dinner every night. Colin is eating dinner right now. Okay. Um, Sam watches TV every night. Sam is watching TV right now. Uh, sorry, can we say Colin is eating dinner every night? No. No. Because every mm -hmm. night, mm -hmm. that is a habit or something that he does generally. Okay. So. Let's look at some, some key words that will help you understand. So simple present will be used if you see words like always, every, often, normally, usually, sometimes, seldom, never, first, and then. So every day, every night, every week, every month, every year, whenever you see this, that signals you to use the simple present. because. It's a habit. So a habit is something that we do regularly. We do it generally. So you can't say Colin is eating dinner every night. You have to say Colin eats dinner every night. But right now, at this moment, Colin is eating dinner. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And then with present progressive, some signal words or some words that will help you um, know to use it are things like at the moment, at this moment, today, now, right now. Okay, look, listen, someone kind of yelling at you to pay attention to something going on. Um, these are all words that, that signal to you to use the present progressive. So Colin plays football every Tuesday. Look, he's playing football right now. Okay. Now with the simple present, we use it for actions happening one after another. First he plays football, then he watches TV. But we use the present progressive for actions that are happening at the same time or simultaneously the big word, sim simultaneously, <laughs> which just means at the same time. Okay? So Colin is playing football and Anne is watching. 
Those are two things that are happening at the same time right now. They're both happening. But this is a sequence. First he will play, and then he will watch TV. So you use this simple present. Okay? okay. Any questions about that? Determining when to use them? No. Okay. So it's someone mentioned good. in the chat that... Teacher, I have a problem, teacher. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, teacher, at uh, which position uh, the um, adverb can be used always at, uh, uh, at the second or uh, in the last of the sentence or the first? Which is better? Always, every often, in a simple present sentence? Oh, okay. If you should use them before or after the verb? Yeah, yes, sir. yes. Okay, so for example, um, here, let me find you a link. Generally, it's, it's uh, first, no? Yeah, usually it's uh, first, usually, um, uh, but um, not always. For example, if you, we can, we can say, uh, uh, I also, also go at school. But uh, did I have seen most of the people use uh, adverbs secondly, after the subject, in the same person sentence. Okay. Position of adverbs. We can put adverbs in different positions. There are three main positions, but there are a lot of exceptions. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So, in English, we never put the adverb between the verb and the object. You can't say, we play often handball. You have to say, we often play handball. The three main positions are at the beginning. So if you use the adverb, it's followed by a comma, like this. Unfortunately, we could not see the mountain. Or sometimes we put it in the middle. The children often ride their bikes. Keep in mind, it's, it's before the verb. Or at the end, Andy reads a comic every afternoon. So there's multiple placements for the verbs, for adverbs. Okay, I give you that link. Um, most, most of the time we'll see them kind of in the middle of sentences, but it depends on the situation. And there are some exceptions. I can find some other links. This one I think will be helpful as well. Mm -hmm. This gives you... Um, kind of shows you the difference in where you place adverbs of manner, place, time, and frequency because depending on the type of adverb it might go in a different um, place. So there's that. And then here's one more link. Um, okay. So I'll have to make a class about adverbs so that we can actually take the time to, to break it down and see, you know, when to use which one in which place. Okay. Um, but there's okay, some links you, to get you started. <laughs> and thank then you, you. when we have that class, you'll be an expert. You'll come and you can just teach everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it was um, Mar Marcio, maybe, who was mentioning how there are some verbs who that we don't really use in the present progressive. Um, verbs like this are usually only used in the simple present. Be, have, hear, know, like, love, see, smell, think, want. So generally, verbs... want, you need. You don't say, I am needing to go get groceries today. That doesn't work. You have to say, I need to get groceries. You don't usually say, I, well, <laughs> except McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. But you don't say, I'm, I'm knowing the alphabet after last class. That doesn't work. You have to say, I, I know the alphabet. So verbs related to how you're thinking, um, related to your emotions, and your senses. See, smell, hear, feel, listen. So or not listen, sorry, but hear, see. Those verbs are usually used in the simple present most of the time. 
well. Have, here, no, etc. Okay, so I think that answers Marcio's question, hopefully. In my language, I can say I'm understanding English. Yeah, in English, that doesn't sound right. You, you would want to say I understand English. Because it has to do with your thought process, what you're thinking about, or how, how you're feeling. I understand. It's something happening in your brain, right? Understanding something. Okay. Um, any other questions so far about how to form it or when to use the two tenses? No. 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 <laughs> Sorry, my roommate is vacuuming. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I had to mute myself for a minute. Said my roommate is vacuuming right now. <laughs> so it was making some noise. Sorry about that. Um, so if we're looking at timetables, schedules, or arrangements, it says, do you want to express that something is arranged for the near future? Or do you refer to a time set by a timetable or a schedule? The simple present, we use it for an action set by a timetable. So if there's something happening and it's in a schedule, it's a definite thing that will happen. It's a definite event. We use the simple present. The film starts at 8 p.m. Okay? But when we're talking about an arrangement that we're making for the near future, something that you're planning, something that you might do, um, you're just making your plan now, it's not necessarily written into a timetable or a schedule, then you use the present progressive. I am going to the cinema tonight. So the film starts at 8. It's in a schedule. I am going to the cinema tonight. This is my plan. Okay? For a daily routine or a limited period of time, for a daily routine... That would be a habit, right? A daily routine is a habit, something that happens every day. Bob works in a restaurant. That's a daily routine or a habit. But something happening for a limited period of time, Jenny is working in a restaurant this week. So it's not every day. It's just for a short period of time. Then you can use the present progressive, okay? Any questions about this, about timetables and daily routines? Can we say Jenny is working in a restaurant with this year? Um, mm, yes. <laughs> it sounds a little bit awkward because it's a longer period of time, but you could. Um, if you're specifying that it's only... If you're specifying in your sentence that it is only for a set amount of time, then you can use the present progressive. If just it's an everyday thing and you want to just say Jenny works in a restaurant, just generally, that's what she does, then it would be in the present simple. So you could say Jenny is working in the restaurant this year. And then it would be followed by something like next year she will be working at in our restaurant. a different place or something. Thing, right? So you can, yep. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. So back to um, certain verbs that I was explaining. State, possession, senses, feelings, brain work. So that's a good word to describe what I was trying to say. <laughs> Things happening in your brain, your brain work and introductory clauses, these verbs are usually only used in the simple present. So this is what we were just talking about. Verbs that explain the state of something. Be, cost, fit, mean, suit. These are the state verbs. Possession, when something belongs to you. Sam has a cat. Senses, so I said your feel, hear, see, etc. Your senses must be in the present simple. Feelings, your emotions, 
must be in the present simple. Brain work, what's happening in your head, your thinking, you believe, you understand. Um, introductory clauses for direct speech. So this just means things like answer, ask, reply, say. So I am watching TV, he says. Are you watching TV? She asks. Okay, so those verbs are, generally speaking, they stay in the simple present. Okay, and you guys do have this link. I gave it to you. So if you want to um, take notes, you're welcome to do that after class. Um, and then we just have some exercises. So before we do practice, does anyone have any other questions? Uh, does exist, uh, do exist exception uh, of these uh, uh, verbs that um, uh, we can use in um, ink form, in progressive form? Yeah, there are exceptions. Like, for example, um, introductory clauses, they only need to be in the simple present when we're using direct speech, he says. But you, if you're not dealing with direct speech, you can say, so what I'm saying is that you have to come to class on time. Or what I'm asking you to do is participate. Um, and you can say, what I say, without think. What I say is, it will be the same meaning if you say what I'm saying. No? No. no. Um, these verbs have to be in the simple present when you're dealing with direct speech. So direct speech is speech in quotations like this. Okay. So, um, what's your name? She asks. That's direct speech. Um, my name is Sam. She says. Direct speech. Okay? But you can use the verbs in present progressive outside of direct speech. Okay. Could you give an example? Um, time to time. Yeah, so you can say something like, I'm asking you to come to class on time. There's no direct speech happening here. But if I said, come to class on time, or will, will you please come to class on time, she asks. Okay. Okay, so it depends on if it, it depends on the context. If you're using quotations in speech, then they have to be in the simple present. But when you're just talking like this, right now I'm asking you to come to class. That's okay to put it in progressive. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, Marcio, time to time we find some words and we don't understand the meaning and then we stick in the place without moving on. Um is there a specific word? Okay. Um, so I think the easiest way to understand this is by practicing. So let's do some practice and try to figure out when to use simple present and when to use progressive. Okay. Um, first, we'll look at some simple present. Actions. Now, if you've ever taken grammar classes with me, you know that I like this sentence monkey because I think it's funny. But um, we're going to just play this little, it's kind of a game, but really it's, it's practice. So first we'll do some with simple present, and then we'll do some with present progressive, and then we will choose between the two. Okay? So this is simple present. An ostrich blank but it can run fast. And here are our choices. An ostrich is is flying. Do you guys agree with that? Is flying? No. Nope. No. Fly. Yes. Fly. Yes, fly. Can fly. Okay. Can't. Can't. Fly. Ah. <laughs> Can't fly. Okay. 
Yay. Yo. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Tim can blank fast. He blank to school every morning. Tim can uh, run. Runs. Can run. Good. He. Running to school every morning. Okay. Runs. So every morning. Yes. Runs. He runs. Because it's a habit. Every morning he runs. Yes. Well. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> he. Two words. He can jump. Can jump. He can jump. Tom blank blank well, but Sam can't. Can swim. Swim. The bird blank a blank every morning. Every sing morning. A song. Sings. Sing a song. Sings. 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 Sings the song. Sings. A song. A song. A song. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah. The baby can't blank very well. Walk. 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 Very well. She can blank well. Dance. Dance. Can dance. Dance. Okay, let's look at some present progressive with this monkey. She blank a book. He's she reading. Is reading. Is reading. Good. Tony. He's eating a cake. He's eating a book. Book. Isn't drinking. Drinking a cake. No. Drink no, no, eating, 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 eating. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You can't drink a cake. Yes, yes. <laughs> you could try, but <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> so, isn't eating a cake? He is eating a burger. Eating. Diana is watching. Watching, is watching, watching TV. Jen is watching. Watching. The boy is eating. Is drinking. Drink. Drinking a hot chocolate. Is is drinking. 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 Hot chocolate, right? <laughs> you have to drink it. But maybe you can hot chocolate well, if you put in uh, this. Uh, I guess how to if say? it plate. was like plate. really thick and you have to use a spoon. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> then you'd be eating it. <laughs> okay. Let's look at um, choosing the difference between them. So let me get my document up here. Where is it? Here it is. OK. Share my screen. Oh yeah, I can give you guys the links for those uh, Sentence Monkey games if you like them. <laughs> There's that one. Here's the other one. And um, I don't have a link for this document, but I will upload it right now so you can have the link, okay? Just give me one second. One, two. And it should work in just a second. Hopefully. Yes, there you go. Okay, here's here's this one. And here's some more practice. I'll upload this one as well. Sorry, guys, just a second. Just giving you 
lots of worksheets. <laughs> Okay, and here is the second one. So you've got lots of practice, <laughs> okay? We're looking at the first document right now. So the first link is the one that we're looking at. And we're on page four of that document because there's all sorts of practice you'll see, okay? Okay. So you've got the links if you want to do more practice on your own. But I would like to take some time to choose between the two of them. Okay, so when do we use simple present and when do we use present progressive? So let's take a look. Make this a little bit bigger. So, number one, I usually blank at 7 o'clock, but today I blank at 6.30 because I have an early appointment at work. So we need to use the phrasal verb, get up. It would it be, I usually get up at 7, or I usually am getting up at 7? Get up. And get, get up. up. Get up, good. It's I a habit. Yes, because it's a habit, and we know that because it says usually, so they're telling okay. us, right? Okay. They're telling us that it's a habit. I usually get up. Okay, but today I blank at 6.30. Woke up. Okay, so we're not putting it into the past. We're going to keep it in the present. So it's either, but today I get up at 6.30, or today I am getting up at 6.30. Get I'm up. Getting up in. I'm get, getting. Getting up. I'm getting up at 6.30 because I have an early appointment. So this is saying um, that they haven't got up yet, but they are getting up at 6.30. That is the time they will get up today. Okay? Next one, we've got two verbs here, walk and take. So how about um, Igor, could you read number two for us? And then we will figure out which verb goes in there. David always walk to work, but he, the bus today because it is raining very hard, but he uh, is taking the bus today. Good, is taking. And what... Samantha? Oh, sorry, I froze. I'm yes. here. Yes, <laughs> could you repeat uh, <laughs> your question? How do we conjugate walk? Is it in the <coughs> simple present or the present progressive? Walks. Walks. Good. Always S walks. Because it's a habit. He always walks. And, okay. and he is he. taking the bus today. Okay? Yes. Could you read number three for us? If you're there. Uh, Can I? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, and Lasana? Uh, they uh, usually read the local newspaper, but today they, uh, they are reading a national newspaper. Perfect, very good. Usually read, today they are reading. Okay. Number four, um, Lana? The children usually have a bath in the evening, but tonight we are taking a shower. Perfect. <coughs> okay. Number five, Khan. Khan Demirci, are you there? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just I just closed the document. Can you just put it on the screen, please? Yeah, can you see it on my screen? We're yes. on number five. Yes. Um, I often, um, is that, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the document, mm -hmm. okay, now it's not here, right? Yep, eat. I don't, I don't often eat cereal for breakfast, but today I'm eating eggs. Good. Thank you, sorry about it. 
No, no problem. So we're seeing lots of clues, right? The words usually, always, often, those are all clues for when to use simple present. We're also seeing lots of clues for present continuous. Today, tonight, mm -hmm. today, okay. Number six, um, Maria? Okay. Uh, Robert never were tied to work. Never wears. Wears, good. Wears a tie to work, but he's wearing one today because he has an important appointment. Perfect. Very good. Sorry, Samantha, but if we will say, um, but he wears to, uh, one today, what will be? It will be not correct grammatically? No, that would be incorrect grammatically. Okay. Yeah, because um, you because it's today and it's just a specific incident and it's happening right now. You need to use the progressive tense. For me, like uh, not native speaker sounds uh, the same. Correct. Yeah, they they <laughs> do sound very similar. So you just have to keep in mind the rules. So basically, we use the present simple for habits, everyday actions, right? everyday actions, okay. things that we do regularly. And then we use the present progressive for things that are happening right now. Things happening right now in the moment. Um, and even though maybe sometimes you won't be able to tell the difference because it sounds, they both sound right, um, grammatically it, it wouldn't be correct. He, okay. he wears one today. It doesn't sound correct to me. So. Yes. Um, number seven, uh, Michael? Yes. Uh, Mr. Bear usually leaves work at 5.30, but he is leaving early today because it is his wife's birthday. Perfect. Good. Usually leaves. That's his habit, right? He never wears a tie. That's his habit, something that he never does. Okay, number eight, um, Anatoly? Uh, Ellie always uh, shoppers. Shops. Shops. Shops, yeah. Shops at uh, A and B market, but today she is uh, shopping at Fairway because uh, they're there is a good sale there. Perfect. Perfect. And number nine, um, Carlos or Charles? Okay. Does not uh, Oh, there you are, Carlos. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, Fred and Rita uh, never. Uh, sorry, I can't see. I can see the, the page. It's I put it in the chat for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, my computer is slowly if I open the the page. Do you see it in the verbling chat? I I put it in in the chat for you. Fred. Fred and Rita never uh, drink uh, wine, but yeah. they are drinking wine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, today, today, because it is the anniversary. Oh, blah, blah, blah was fine. <laughs> he understood. <laughs> okay, thanks. And uh, Disnaka, number 10. Uh, okay, uh, Joy never bake cake, but he is baking one today because it is his wife's birthday. Perfect. Okay, so let me scroll down. We've got some more. Okay, same document. Next page, page five of the same document. Okay, number one. So now we need to choose simple present or present progressive. Same thing. So we need to choose which one to use, okay? Um, number one, 
Listen, someone blank is knocking. at the door. Someone knocking. is knocking. Knocking. Good. Yes. Listen. Two. Jack never blank to class on time. Comes. Never comes. It always blank in our city in April. Rains. Rain. Good. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. Shine. Shine. It's shining. It's shining. Is shining good because today. today. Now, if you wanted to say <laughs> shines, you could say the sun shines every day. In I don't know where is a very sunny place, um, Florida, or something like that. The sun shines every day. Number five, the sun always blank in the east and blank in the west. Rises and sets in the west. Sets in the west. Very good. Number six. Susan Blank TV is now watching. Is watching. Is watching. Is watching. Okay. He always watches. Watch. Watching. Watch. 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 In the evening. Number seven. Mr. Duncan usually blanked to New York on business. Travels. 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 Usually gives it away, right? Yes. Please yeah. be quiet. The baby is sleeping. Is sleeping. Is sleeping. Is sleeping. My aunt usually blank in a hotel when she comes to town. Stay. 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 And she is but staying. tonight she staying. Stays. She staying. She stays. She stays. She stays. Very good. Tonight she is staying with us. Okay. Number 10, at the present time, they blank in Europe. Are traveling. Are traveling. Good. Now, this is where we can either double the L or keep it single. <laughs> okay? Double. You can choose. This is British with two Ls. This is American with one L. So, you can decide. Number 11, we blank meet for we coffee. Are we, we are meeting. We are meeting for coffee. Okay. We are meeting. Are you sure? No, we are <laughs> travelers. No, we, we meet because we meet. Uh, yes, because uh, there is every every right every Saturday. Every Saturday. Oh, every Saturday. I didn't see it. We meet every Saturday at two o'clock. Mm. Twelve. She usually blank jeans to school. Where's? Where's? But today she. Yeah. She's wearing. She's wearing. She's wearing a shirt. A skirt. Shirt. Good. The telephone blank. Can you please answer it? Is ringing. Is ringing. Good. Is ringing. Right now we are ah, reviewing. Reviewing. We are reviewing. Reviewing. Are reviewing. Perfect. Reviewing. So I've given you guys two documents here, and in both of them, they're pretty long, right? Six pages, lots of practice, <laughs> but all of the answers are at the end. So. If you want to do the practice, you can go and mark your own work to see how well you did. <laughs> Same thing with this one. All of the answers, they're at the end. See? Yes. So you can do the practice if you want to, and then you can go and mark your own work. Um, and there's lots of practice. <laughs> OK? Does anyone have any questions? No. We need oh. to practice. You need to practice. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah. I've given, given you some links. Um, if you are looking for more links, you can go to Google and search present simple present continuous exercises. And then you'll find all sorts of stuff on there. Okay? Okay. Um, here's my Facebook. You guys can always send me questions if you have them. Right okay. And cool. Hopefully I'll see you soon. It's nice meeting everyone. See you soon. Thank you, Smasa. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.